Victor's in San Jose. Hi, Victor. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Dave, good afternoon. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Dave, I've, uh, I wish I, I got on your plan a few years ago. I'm a new listener, and um, the plan that I've had for myself is very muddy and cloudy. And so I'm, I'm starting to like your plan, and I hope I'm, getting, I'm going to get some insight here. Uh, hey, talk, in, uh, uh, you talk directly into your money. phone, brother. Hey, you're muffled like yeah. crazy. You need to speak directly into right the phone. Right into the phone there. There you go. Oops, sorry. There you go. Um, so is that better? Yeah, yeah. sure. Right. So we, we make quite a bit of money, over $300,000 a year. And with uh, tax deductions and all sorts of benefits that we pay for out of that and saving for retirement, uh, we take home roughly 200000 And um, so then I, I started doing uh, a whole lot of things, and maybe I took on too much. So um, the, the fundamentals here, I have uh, about $80,000 in savings. I have $200,000 in a 401k. I have $30,000 in a Roth. $42,000 in an index fund, that's in 500. Um, and um, I've got a house mortgage for 365000 which All right, dude, listen, let me stop you a second. I apologize, but we can't do your whole financial plan. No. What's your question? Oh, um, so my main question was I, I took on two rentals that I have, um, uh, I have a mortgage on. And uh, the idea was that uh, I would keep these for 15 years and they would pay for my kids' college cool. uh, fund. Good. And uh, um, I've got a mortgage on them. They cash flow positive to pay that mortgage. But I'm not sure if that's a great idea yet. And I've got these index fund, uh, $42,000 sitting there that I also is going to use as a liquid fund for kids' college or uh, whatever is needed 15 years down the line. Okay, I'm, I'm sure going to back you all the way up and pan out to clarify. You said you've got this murkiness because there's too many things going in too many directions. So let's just streamline it right down the baby steps. So make sure you have an emergency fund of three to six months of expenses setting liquid in a simple savings account. Don't touch that for anything. That's just for emergencies. Make sure you're debt-free but your house. I think you are based on what you're saying. You're making really good money. Then at baby step four, you need to be putting 15% of your household income into retirement. You're putting some of your money into retirement. You talked about the difference in your 300 down to 200, so I don't know exactly what that number is. But go back and recalculate and make sure you are putting 15% of your income into retirement. Baby step five is kids' college. Six is pay off your home as quickly as you can. And so you've got some rentals that you're thinking you might use for the kids' college. You might do some other things. So I'm taking the 42 out of the index fund. I'm taking some of the money out of the 80000 sitting in savings. I'm going to set some aside for that three to six months of expenses. I'm going to throw the rest of it at your personal mortgage. When your mortgage is gone, then we'll reach over and start paying off those rentals. And so let's get the mortgage knocked out and then start paying off the rentals as fast as you can. And just direct your cash flow at those things instead of, instead of dispersing it across so many different things because what you're realizing is, is that by spreading out the focus, by not having any focus, the money loses its power. When you focus it and narrow it down and rifle it rather than shotgun it, it'll go a lot further, a lot faster, much like a rifle versus a shotgun does. And so that, that's what you've got to do here. And that's the beauty and the clarity of these baby steps and walking them that way. Hang on, man. I will send you a copy of the, the new book, Baby Steps Millionaires. It'll talk about what I'm talking about here and exactly how to do it to turn what you're doing into millionaire status. But the clarity is what you're missing. You're all over the place with it. And you're right. You, you, you self-diagnose that really well. Yeah. So. And, man, you'll sleep better. Yeah. You'll just sleep better. You live in that chaotic life. Everything's everywhere. You'll just have a, a yeah. more peaceful life. And yeah, when there's a circus going on in your brain, it's hard to sleep. And it just anything. it's that's normal.